Today's learning objective is to create a business letter using proper format in Word. I'm using Word 2010 for this activity. First step is to change the top margin to 2 inches. It's currently at 1 inch, so I'm going to go to the Page Layout tab. I'm go to the Margins button. And I'm going to change my top margin to 2 inches. I'm going to go down to Custom Margin. Top margin to 2 inches. Click OK. OK, there's a lot of spacing requirements in a business letter. First thing is going to be your, your address, the sender's address. For our example, we're going to use 2550 Student Street. That's our header. That's our, the sender's address. After that, you're going to put the date immediately underneath. <clears throat> Press Enter four times. Two, three, four. And then you're going to type the inside address. That's who you're planning on sending the letter to. For the sake of example, I'm using uh, Justin Bieber. We're going to be sending a fan mail letter to Justin Bieber. Now, a business letter is something that, um, you know, you're it's a formal type of writing, and you're looking to request information generally, or you might be responding to something. And uh, what I'm going to do is going to go back to the Home tab. I'm going to show the reveal codes, the show that Show Hide button, just so you can see the formatting. So there's a quadruple space right here, there's three blank lines, and then after the inside address, there's going to be a double space, and then you're going to start with your salutation. So we're going to have Dear Mr. B -E -E. Oops, I'm spelling it wrong. -E -E. Beaver. You might have a colon, double space again, and then you're going to start the body of your letter. The body of your letter is going to contain your your three short paragraphs. So say I've typed my three short paragraphs, double spacing between each paragraph. There should be one blank line between each short paragraph. And please notice the paragraphs are not indented. That's called block format. It should be just aligned to the left margin. After the last paragraph, again, you're going to double space and you're going to type your salutation. Sincerely is the most common one. And again, you're going to have a quadruple space. You can press enter one, two, three, four times. You're going to type out your name. And uh, I think I put Jane Doe as the sake of example. Move that down. Okay, now when you actually print this out, it's going to look something like this. Let me move this back up. So it's going to start with the header, which is the, the sender's address and date. Quadruple space, so three blank lines. The inside address, which is who you're sending it to, their company, etc. Double space, salutation, followed by a colon. Then you have your body, generally three short paragraphs. Then you're going to have a double space. You're going to have your closing, quadruple space, and then your name and any titles underneath, if that applies. After you print it out, you will sign in ink above your name in that space above your name typed out. So here's, here's an example of what a signature might look like. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so you can see what the finished document would look like printed. Of course, printed, it's not going to show the little wavy underlines. It thinks Bieber is spelled incorrectly. And that is how you create a business letter using proper format in Word.